Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about movies, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Hulu's newest Christmas movie, Happiest Season. <laughs> So Happiest Season is rated PG-13, it is a rom-com, it is an hour and 42 minutes long. It was released on Hulu and it stars Kristen Stewart, Mackenzie Davis, Daniel Levy, Audrey Plaza. Now Happiest Season is about Abby who is portrayed by Kristen Stewart who plans to propose to Harper who is played by Mackenzie Davis. Harper's family's house for the holidays, for the big holiday Christmas party that the family does. Um, she does of course plan to propose on Christmas Day because can you get any more cliche either Christmas, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, like get more original and just pick a random day you guys. Now things do get a little bit bumpy because Harper actually has not come out to her parents. Now Abby is having a bit of a tough time understanding the reason why she hasn't come out to her parents after so long. Actually Abby thought that she had already come out to the family like the year prior or that summer because that's what she uh, Harper had told her but that was a live now this is not going to be for everybody it may not be a family affair for everybody just because of the topic of the movie freaking love daniel levy that's eugene levy's um son if you guys don't know from american pie the eyebrow guy in case you don't know <laughs> uh jim's dad daniel levy of course comes out in Shit's creek uh that was a great great show if you guys have never seen that show definitely check it out it's on netflix i laugh i believe in every single scene that he was in yeah i think so there's this like joke that goes throughout the movie about him tracking everybody like what are you gonna understand i am tracking you it's, it's hilarious you guys and you find out that the other sisters or rather one sister has her own little secret also and and just kind of like the dysfunctional family that comes out within these holiday movies you know because of course they're not all perfect as much as they may want to seem that they're perfect but you know no family ever is really perfect everybody has their own little skeleton within the closet now i think all the actors just did really well within their performances i really was here for everybody there was nobody really that i found annoying there's sometimes when i'm just like oh my god like i just can't with you there's one sister that's a little bit like ah! but then that's kind of like me in a way like i'm like the annoying one but i don't think i'm like to that extent but then I could be to that extent. I, I don't know. I'm very extra, you guys. <laughs> but Kristen Stewart, um, she is usually like hit or miss for me. Last year, is that when Charlie's Angels came out? That last year was this year. Oh my God, everything like mixes in there. I don't know. I didn't like the movie, but, but I really, really, really did like uh, Christmas Jewish performance in there. At the end, Happiest Season is a really great, fun, enjoyable, breezy movie that could honestly I had not turned out so well. But given the topic of the movie, it could have gone into a more heavy hearted type of movie one that wouldn't have been as fun um or enjoyable it might have been enjoyable but maybe not as fun and easygoing and maybe not one that you would want to incorporate into your yearly christmas holiday movies uh rewatches i do feel that it was executed very well and i totally recommend it if this is a movie that you wanted to see i think you're gonna really enjoy it if you've never heard of it or we're on the fence of it, uh, I think you should definitely give it a watch. I'm gonna go ahead and give Happiest Season actually a large popcorn. It is a really, really great movie overall. If you've seen Happiest Season, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Um, if it's one that you haven't yet seen, is it one that you're looking forward to seeing? And if you have seen it, are you now going to incorporate within your yearly holiday movies? Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!